Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to grow some crystals. I'm going to show you how to grow copper sulfate crystals on some pieces of driftwood so you can make a crystal wand. We're going to go back down to the Hudson and see if I can get some driftwood and then we're going to go cover it in crystals. So now I've made it down to the Hudson and I'm going to walk around by the shore, try to find some driftwood and we're going to take it all back home and I'm going to show you how to grow some crystals on it. I'm looking around in the pile here and I'm looking for sticks that have some unique features that might look kind of cool with some crystals on it. keeping my eye out for interesting seed pods that also might look good with some crystals on it. So I spent just a couple minutes looking around and so this is what I've got. I've got these smaller ones here that I'm going to grow crystals on and they're going to look like flowers in a vase. These ones with interesting shapes in them they're gonna look like a little bit of art pieces. And these larger one here, they're gonna get turned into some pretty cool crystal wands. I got my bag all loaded up, and now it's time to head home. Now you'll get some copper sulfate, links down below, and a container to put it in. Pour a considerable amount into the container. Fill your container up with hot water. The hotter the water, the more saturated the liquid will become. Add more copper sulfate to your liquid until no more gets dissolved and you're left with some at the bottom after filtering. Get another container to filter your liquid into. I'm using the top of a soda bottle and a coffee filter. Continue filtering your liquid until the filter slows and it's time to exchange your filter with a new one. Gloves are recommended, but I don't really get any of it on my hands, so it's not too much of a big deal, especially if I wash my hands. You can see the filter gets gross pretty quick. With the new filter, it filters much quicker. Now choose the item that you would like to cover in crystals. I'm making holes in the plastic lid to stick the stick into and a couple air vents to let the heat and steam out as the liquid cools. If no crystals have developed around your item after your liquid has cooled, take your item and let the liquid dry out on it to form seed crystals. Heat your liquid back up to dissolve the crystals that have formed inside your container and try it again once the liquid has cooled. Check with the flashlight to see that your stick is not touching the sides. This is after three days of being in the liquid. Lots of large crystals have developed. After you're satisfied with the amount of crystals that have developed on your item, dry off thoroughly. If you skip this step, you will get a white glaze that will cover your crystals and not look as well. 
I am using some natural twine to wrap the handles. I am wrapping a loop of twine around the handle. Once I'm satisfied with its length, I'll take the end that I was wrapping and I'll run it through the loop and then I'll take the string at the top and I'll pull it tight which will pull up the loop and secure the bottom of the wrap. Additional glue may be required. Trim off the ends and there you have it. You got your own crystal wand. So I want to show you the crystal wands all finished. They're all wrapped up and ready to have fun with. So all the chemicals and supplies I'm going to use in this video are going to be linked down below. If you like this video and want to see more, remember to subscribe.